Hey guys, make sure you stand to the end. If you make one common mistake, it can cost you thousands of dollars in future repairs. Stay with us, we'll explain why. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you. Having a GMC Yukon or Yukon XL, that generation here from year 2007 to year 2014. If you guys have one of those, if you have a problem where you have a service stability track light on, in this video today guys we're going to explain what can easily cause that. <coughs> it could be guys even something uh, that you may not even spend any money on parts. Stay with us, we'll explain what it is, where you can buy cheap parts and tools in case you need to, that way you do not waste your money and time, and why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays, all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, make sure to stay until the end. So before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart, we show you how to fix transmissions, engines, bodywork, interior, electrical, engine codes, almost absolutely everything. Why we do that guys? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. We have more than 14,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. And on this channel alone today guys, we're going to be making a video about every single fuse relay in that GMC Yukon or Yukon XL. Why? Let's say you're in the middle of nowhere guys, you need to find where the fuel pump fuse relay is located, where fuel injector fuse is located. Uh, all you have to do is watch the video, one, two minutes, you replace that fuse, you're back on the road. So we make it for your convenience guys, please subscribe to the channel, like the video and if you need to buy parts and tools we'll put the links in the description of the video below where uh, you can get them at a good price that way you do not waste money and time. So let's start on it now. So what can often cause service stability track light to be on? We will demonstrate on that generation GMC Yukon. If you have a Yukon XL it will work as well, practically the same vehicle just a little bit longer guys. Now right here guys, okay, what we have, we need to work first in a fuse box under the hood. Open the hood, here on the driver's side you have that box, open the cover and you're going to find out the main engine fuse box that we have a layout that will look like this one here. Before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. It is guys very important to test fuses and relays. On those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not, especially you can see in the JK's fuses as well. And if you guys assume, okay, you, let's say you remove a fuse, you look at it and you assume guys that it's a, actually a, a good fuse, but it's actually a bad fuse, sometimes you cannot clearly see that. What can easily happen guys at that point, uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to, so you lose your time, you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it. We'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses, how to check relays very easily as well guys. So uh, check it out, it will be in the description of the video below. So guys, if you have service stability track, three fuses will need to be checked. Which ones? Oh, by the way, if you need to buy any fuses, realize parts, tools at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. We'll put a link in the description of the video below for your convenience, guys. Check it out. Now, the first fuse that we need to check is fuse number 9, right here. Then you need to check fuse number 59 and fuse number 61, right there. Other things that can cause service stability track to be on could be bad brake light switch, that's a device on the brake paddle that detects if you apply the brakes. If you want to see how to test brake light switch, we have multiple videos on our channels how to do that. It could be bad ABS sensor, we see that quite often. You have four of them, one on each tire, it detects how fast the tires are spinning. If you want to see how to test ABS sensor, we have videos on our channels how to do that. It could be guys something else, if you had a lineman done, suspension parts replaced, uh, it's possible or even battery replacement that the, uh, the steering angle sensor is not calibrated. If it's not calibrated it cannot detect the right amount of steer, uh, of steering guys. So if you want to see how to, uh, how to calibrate steering angle sensor we have videos on our channels that can do that. Other things that can cause it could be bad traction control sensors, it could be bad ABS module but the only way to find out for sure is to get a scanner, get the code and see what causes it. Hopefully guys the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. See you next time.